Hello everyone, welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting. Uh, today we're going to be breaking down the CBSI Hot Top 10 of the week. No, I'm not stealing Comic Tom 101 schick. Um, he does it way better than I could ever begin to do it. And if you want to learn about this week's Hot Top 10, you should go to Comic Tom uh, webpage and watch his video. Um, there will be a link to his video in the description below, as well as a link to the CBSI website for this week's Hot Top 10. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look back at the Hot Top 10 from six months ago. And you may be wondering, why are you looking back at the hot comic books from six months ago? Um, what, how are they relevant today? Well, right now, there's a whole bunch of speculation and hot covers and a lot of talk about those kinds of things in the comic community. And um, there's not much actually looking back at how those books really do. And while... I love those videos and I'm definitely not taking a shot at the people who make those and look at, you know, are looking for spec books and trying to give people information. I think that's great. I think it's important. I think it drives interest in comics. Um, but what I want to do is someone who has to collect on a budget, um, in a relatively tight budget, um, but still wants to like take opportunities where they can to build their collection smartly and so that they can build value and then maybe one day afford some key books that I can't currently afford. Um, I gotta be smart about it. So what I want to do is look back at what was going on six months ago and see what I can learn. Um, see if I can identify patterns for books that have staying power or that will continue to build as opposed to books that might spike and then go away. And hopefully together, as we do this week to week, um, we can really start to see what's going on and we can all become smarter and better collectors. Um, so that's my goal for the video. And so that's where we're going to go. And with that, without further ado, we're going to travel, because today is January 19th, 2019, we're going to travel back to um, July 22nd, uh, 2018, and look at the CBSI Hot Top 10 for that week. A couple of things about this particular list. Um, first of all, all the information I'm going to give you on like current sales is for this particular list comes for eBay. Um, in other weeks, that won't necessarily be the case because there'll be more information I can get from sites like Go Collect. But in this, with this particular list, um, all the books are modern books. Almost none of them have very many slab copies, um, unless they've been slabbed since um, the, they came out on the Hot Top 10. Um, so there's not a lot of information on that kind of stuff. So almost everything is focused on eBay sales and focused on raw books. Um, I will give you a little bit of information on slab books, but... For the most part, with these this particular list, you're looking at raw books. Um, the other thing that you should know is this list is dominated by San Diego Comic Con exclusives, just based on the timing. It's from July, uh, late July last year. Um, so what we learn from this list may tell us a lot about Comic Con exclusives, but not may not tell us a lot about other types of books. So, without further ado, let's get into the list and see what we can find out. Um, first up, and you'll see a picture beside me if I can figure out how to do it, is uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number 29, the Pink Ranger, San Diego, Com San Diego Comic-Con Virgin variant. Um, this, is a, this was a book that, according to CBSI, was going for $50 to $60 um, in July. Currently, um, the interest in this book appears to have really dropped off. Um, there are not many books listed on eBay. Um, there are not many sales. In fact, there's only been the there's only been one sale this year. It was on January seventh, and that book sold was a buy it now with best offer for eleven ninety nine with four dollars shipping, and the best offer was accepted. So I don't know exactly what it sold for. Um, the previous sale went clear back to November first. Um, there were no slab books listed on eBay, and there were no. Um, slab sales, uh, recent sales of slabs for this particular cover. So despite the fact that it was a very attractive cover, the interest in this one appears to have really fallen off. So it went from a $50, $60 book six months ago to a $10 book now. Uh, next up is we have Batman 50, the Michael Turner um, Poison Ivy Virgin variant that was limited to 1000 It was also a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. Um, this book was selling for raw back in July, according to CBSI, for $75 to $100. Um, while there still appears to be a lot of interest, there's still a bunch of these listed on eBay, um, there still seems to be 
a steady market in terms of sales, this book has also come back. Um, the last seven sales for raw books were all at $39.99. Um, in addition, and currently listings are still in that, are all, the lowest listings are all still in that $35 to $45 range. Um, the last 9.8s to sell on eBay both went for between, between $80 and $100 uh, plus shipping. Um, and there are no, currently no 9.8s listed on eBay. So this is a book that has maintained some interest, but it has also started to come back a little bit. Um, next up, uh, we have number eight is Peter Parker's Spectac Spectacular Spider-Man number 307, uh, the Scotty Young San Diego Comic-Con uh, variant. That book was also going for about $50 raw back in July. Um, it is now going for... 10 to $15 raw with the only one sale since January 1st. So this is another book that appears to have um, had a big drop off in terms of interest. Um, current listings have it for around $20 and there are no 9.8 on currently listed on eBay. Next is number seven, which is Transformers uh, Unicron. Number one, the Milne San Diego Comic-Con black and white variant. Um, back in July, it was going for $75 to $100 raw, according to CBSI. Currently, this is another book that appears to just have almost no interest in it anymore. Um, it has dropped to $15 to $20 raw in the last several sales on eBay, with only three sales since December 1st. Um, there were no 9.8s listed, and the current listings for if you want to go buy it now are in the $25 range. Um, so, this appears to be another... Comic-Con exclusive that just really have people have really just lost interest in. Um, next, we have number six on the list, which is X-23 number one, uh, the Sim Ohm uh, San Diego Comic-Con ex exclusive. Now, this book was going for $150 back in July, according to CBSI Raw. Um, and it is a cool cover, but... That seems like a lot, and if you look now, that just could not sustain that. Um, it does appear to still have some interest. Um, there are still several listed on eBay. There does seem to be fairly consistent sales, but those sales are now in the $35 to $50 range. Um, although the listings currently only have one book listed. At, they have one book listed as a on an auction, which was at $24 when I looked at it. There was a Buy It Now listed for 80 and then the next Buy It Now was listed for 160 with a 9.8 listed for $1,000, but there doesn't appear to be that much interest in this book. So um, the pricing on eBay versus what it's actually selling for when it does sell do not appear to be matching up, at least at the moment. Um, so with that, we're going to move into the top five, um, and the list gets continues with one last San Diego Comic-Con exclusive. In this case, it is Cosmic Ghost Rider number one. Um, this book was going for $75 to $80 uh, back in July. And now it is going for, it can be had for between, well, this one's a little tough because it's, the prices for it are all over the board. It's gone from as low as $36 to as high as 100 in the last couple of months. Um, and it doesn't appear to be any kind of, and that's all since December 1st with all kinds of prices in between. Um, a 9.4, which is the only recent copy to sell uh, as a slab, went for $75. Um, current listings have typically have a raw book around $75 um, with a 9.6 uh, listed for 159, but that is also a signed book. So, this is a book that uh, the market really hasn't settled on, it doesn't appear. Um, there's still quite a few out there. There seems to be quite a few sales. But the sale price seems to jump all over the board on this one. Um, so I'm not sure how much we can learn from that. Next up, we finally move out of San Diego Comic-Con uh, exclusive variants. And we move into some books that were spiking for other reasons. Um, the first one of those is... 52, uh, week 11, and this is the first appearance of Cat Kane, uh, K-A-N-E, <laughs> or as Batwoman. Um, back in July, this book was going for $25 to $30, um, and that was all based on the fact that she was set to appear in the Arrow 
Flash Supergirl crossover event um, that has happened. Uh, since then, she's got a pilot, so you would think maybe there's some staying power with this book, but it has dropped back. Um, it's dropped back to $15 to $20 for a raw copy with no slab sales shown or and no slabs currently listed. Um, current listings are still asking $20 to $30 for it, but it does appear to have like dropped back um, some from that initial surge after the announcement that she was going to be in that crossover event. Um, the next book is one I don't have to actually try to pull up a picture for. Um, I can just pull it out of my collection. Uh, this is Batman Legends of the Dark Knight, uh, number 120. And this is a book that uh, I actually bought back in the day. This was back when I was collecting originally. And this is the first appearance of Cassandra Cain, C-A-I-N, um, as Batgirl. Um, this book was spiking based on the fact that uh, Cassandra Cain is going to be in the new uh, Harley Quinn Birds of Prey movie um, as a character. So this book spiked a little bit based on that. Uh, back then it was sitting at around $30. Um, since then it has dropped back to $15 to $30 in raw sales. Um, with a 9.6 going, the most recent slab to be sold, um, going for about $120 plus shipping. Um, in addition, uh, current listings have this book in that $15 to $20 range with 9.8 asking $300, um, but there have no, been no recent sales of this book in a 9.8 at least. Uh, my copy has got a little bit of a ding in the top corner. Um, the spine looks good. No, co uh, Maybe one color breaking spine tick toward the bottom. And that's about it. So I would guess this is probably 94, 96's range, maybe. But um, anyway, this is a book I've had for since it came out. Um, so be a rare occasion where I can show you a book on the top 10 and not just have to like bring up the picture. Um, with that, we move into the top two. Um, the number two book was Cable, number 159. This was a J. Ancelotto, uh, 1 in 25 variant. Um, back in July, CBSI had this book going for $75 to $80. Uh, since then, it has cooled considerably. Um, it is back down to the $15 to $20 range in recent sales on eBay. And that's about where the listings are keeping it is around a little higher than that. Most of the listings right now are in the $20 to $30 range. But it's, you know, this is a book that's cooled off quite a bit. Um, it's an incentive cover uh, since July. Uh, the last book on the list, uh, number one, is another book that has to do with Cassandra Kane, And this is uh, Batman number 567. Uh, this is the first appearance of Cassandra Kane. Um, and basically, back, in, back then, it was going for $75 or so for a nice uh, near-mint raw copy. And with 9.8 slab going for around $300. This is the only book in this week's list that's really maintained. It continues to have steady sales. Um, it continues to have several books listed. And when I say maintained, it has come back just a little bit. Um, currently, copies are going for uh, raw, nice raw copies are going in that $50 to $60 range um, with uh, 9.8 selling for about $300. Um, so you get a 9.6 for a little over 100, 9.8 for about 300. Um, current listings have the book $50 and up for a raw copy and $150 for 9.6s and $300 and up for 9.8s. So this is a, the one book out of the set from uh, July of 20, 22nd, 2018 that is actually like maintained. Now, this group of 10 was really driven by San Diego Comic-Con variants and those really didn't maintain for the most part. So... Again, this is a nice copy. This is actually a better copy than my Legends of the Dark Knight. Um, I really don't see any visual errors. I'm not a professional grader, so I won't say for sure it's a 9.8, but I think they would have a chance. Um, so with that, uh, those are the books from uh, the CBSI Top 10 from six months ago. Um, I mean, to me, the take-home lessons are, you know, be... Um, cautious of those uh, Comic-Con exclusives, unless there's something about it that's going to give it staying power. Um, some other thing other than just being an exclusive. If it's a really good cover, um, which some of those were decent covers, but nothing was like a really hot cover. Um, and it's not just 
a con exclusive, then I think in order to have some staying power, that's just my thoughts. Um, I'd love to hear your comments down below, what you think, uh, why some of the, most of these books dropped back, why the one book that did maintain, maintained. Um, with that, I will see you next time or in next week for the another CBSI breakdown and hopefully with some other videos between now and then. I will talk to you later.